What's up everyone? Jeremy Gerard from Mythic Customs here with one of my short customizing tutorial videos. Today's video, we're going to make some bog goblins. So specifically what we're going to do is we are going to take uh, an existing base figure and we're going to do a quick paint job to make it look similar to the original bog goblin that came out in the first ever Mythic Legions wave. He was also part of the All-Stars 2 re-release, but that itself was quite a few years ago. Um, so why would you want to buy Goblin now? Well, I mean, obviously it's an awesome figure, um, but it, the other reason is this new open mouth Bog Goblin head is part of the Mythic Legion's All-Stars 5 Plus Heads Pack. So this open mouth version, this is the head that originally came on, the sculpture that originally came on the Hellfire Goblin. It's got that open mouth, it's got a, a tongue inside that mouth, and it also comes with another tongue you can swap out to have the really long one. Uh, one of the cool things that you can do with this head is create, you know, your little Bog Goblin army. So whether you want to add on to your existing Bog Goblins or whether you don't have this figure, this figure is somewhat difficult to find these days. If you're looking for a cool replacement for it in your collection, I'm going to show you how to do that. And what we are going to use, the base body we are going to use today, is going to be the uh, Mythic Legion's Deluxe Legion Builders Deluxe Goblin. So this is a figure, the Deluxe Goblin, that is readily available today. There are a number of online retailers that still have those figures in stock, so you can buy that base figure relatively inexpensively. That figure with that head and you've got what you need. Now, let's look at this really quick. So this is the base figure. All I've done here is I popped the pauldrons on, I removed the neck pack. So the, the Bog Goblin head you're going to use from the heads pack is this one right here. And the Bog Goblin head is got an integrated neck post. So you don't actually need the neck post. This is gonna plug right into that piece there. So that's all you're gonna be able to do. The nice thing is that with this one body, we can achieve what we're going for. Um, if you don't have a Bog Goblin, you can look them up online. One of the great things about this figure is it's messy. It's meant to be dirty, it's meant to be rusty, and whenever you're painting colors like that, when you're painting, uh, you know, an effect like that, it's super forgiving because you don't need to be exact. You can be sloppy, you can be messy. So, this is the figure that we're going to be matching here. If you look that up online, you can see more about him. He's got a lot of orange rust kind of between some of his you know, pieces of armor, and then other than that, he's just grimy and dirty. Browns, oranges, that kind of color, a little bit of green maybe. That's what we're going to do with this figure. Really, the only difference is this Bog Goblin, the original one, came with those real spiky pauldrons. This one here has those rounded pauldrons, so that'll be the one difference that we have here. One of the great things with this figure, with this Deluxe Goblin Legion Builder, is I'm not going to base paint it. It is already this kind of, you know, really dark color. That's going to work great as a base to paint right on top of. So we don't have to worry about putting a base layer, no primer, no base layer of spray paint or anything on this. We're ready to go with this figure. What I'm going to do is I am going to pull it apart just so I can get all of the different pieces. The pauldrons come right off. Obviously, I'm going to separate it at the waist pull that apart there. Um, if the leg pops off, I'm just going to pop that right back on, pull apart all the pieces here. I will leave the legs intact. That'll be fine. And again, I'm not going for exactly like the Bog Goblin, just something that looks similar. Remember, these monsters would be hanging out together in the, in the bogs, so their armor is going to be a little bit different. The rust, the dirt, the grime is not going to be precise from character to character. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, so I've got it all pulled apart. I've got the legs, I've got the different arms, the waist piece, I've got the torso, all of those pieces. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, swip the, you know, flip the camera around in a minute so you can see me painting. But before I do that, let me show you the colors I am going to use. So any colors, again, you can use what you want. But I am going to use an orange here. I do like Vallejo paints. So this is an orange, uh, it's 956 clear orange. I'm gonna use this first. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna do a paint wipe to get that rusty effect in between the crevices. 
Then I've got a couple different browns here. I've got a flat brown and I've also got a cork brown, two different browns, a light and a dark that I'm gonna dry brush on to get some grime. I've also got a green here. I've got a deep green that I'm going to use to add a little bit of color. And the only other thing I have is a metallic silver. That metallic silver, what I'm gonna do with that is actually two of the weapons that the Deluxe Goblin comes with. He comes with this bone handled knife and he comes with this turtle shell shield. Great pieces to use with the new Ba Goblin. These are super appropriate weapons. So I'm gonna paint those. Obviously I'm gonna paint the blade on this to be that silver so it looks like a blade. And then on the back of this shield, it's got all those, you know, what would basically be metal armored pieces that are kind of riveted on. I'm going to paint those as well. So let me take this pause here. I'm going to switch the camera around and we will come right back. Okay, first things first. This Bog Goblin here, like I said, this is the base one that I have just next to me just as an example of what I'm going for. So again, you can see here that within this armor and everything, there are these orange you know, kind of highlights these orange pieces that would be rust. So that's what I'm going for here. And, you know, with all the pieces, what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to get some of my orange paint, shake that up, put that in here. This one actually is a pain. Got a little bit of this paint stuck in there paint out, no problem. Way more paint than I actually need in this instance. So what I'm going to do is actually what I call kind of a paint wipe. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put that paint on the brush, but I'm not going to be wiping it off. I'm not dry brushing it here. This is the effect where I'm just going to put it on really really thick like this okay now obviously that looks horrendous that's not what we're going for that's why i'm going to take my paper towel and i'm just going to wipe that off and what you see what happens by doing that is the orange gets in the crevices but not on the surfaces so it gives me that rusty type look that i'm going for it gets like if i just concentrate on that corner there that edge type area and then I take my paper towel and I wipe it off, you'll see that the orange collects in the crevices. And that's what I'm going for with this effect here. I want to get some of those crevices because this is me really going for that, that rusty type look. And this is all going to come together one step at a time. Again, you don't, do not need to be super precise with this. Let's do it on the feet here. So, you know, we add some to the feet. Super messy, super sloppy. But then when we come and we wipe it off, you'll see that what remains is just in those crevices there. It gives us that, that kind of rusty look that we're going for, or the start of that rusty look that we're going for. You put as much or as little as you want. You know, take it one step at a time. Take it slow. Of course, you can always add more. And we will add more down the road. We'll come back and we'll revisit what we've done. So, just painting all these orange pieces here. You know, like something like right here, like right underneath that area, that's a perfect spot to hit it with that and then just wipe that off. And while you're doing this, you know, you can do a little bit of dry brush. And we're going to come back and we're going to do some dry brushing on this after to add a little bit more of this rust color.
obviously your paper towels are going to get pretty nasty. Not a problem. All par for the course. That's what we're going for here. What we're going to do after this is we're going to do a little bit of brown dry brush. I'm going to use a couple different colors to really dirty this guy up. Make him look like he spent some significant time down there in those bogs. favorite things about doing projects like these is seeing where they are at these early stages and how it just looks so kind of haphazard and you know really then coming back and seeing that final result and seeing how it all comes together and this is super easy this is something literally any any customizer new or old can accomplish not a problem all right i'm gonna put this aside for a minute Let's get this brown. Let's go with this dark brown. We're going to do some dry brushing here. Got another brush. These are the brushes I always talk about that I like. These are these nice testers with the flat heads there. So this I'm going to do some dry brushing. And really I'm just adding these browns. dirtying this up. Well, I love using this figure as a base custom because those dark colors, they work so, so, so well. The nice thing about not having to, you know, base it out in any color or spray paint anything on it is the fact that you're maintaining that base color plastic so you don't have to worry about joints you know cracking and being the wrong color it's not like i'm starting with a red and i'm painting darker colors on it or you know a silver or something where you're going to see that color through Sure, I get all the pieces here. You're watching me and you say, Wow, he's being really sloppy. Yeah, absolutely. So now I'm going to go. Sloppy's okay when you're doing something like this. This dude lives in a bog, he's not real clean. Now I'm going with a lighter brown here and just adding that. That's going to give me some color variant on this. And again, this is not going to be exact, but it's it's getting there. It's getting close, right? This one also, by the way, the Bog Goblin, he actually has this like bluish color on all of his armor highlights. I could totally do that as well. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to do those highlights. That's a little bit more detail work. And when I say a little, I genuinely mean a little. It's not difficult, but if you just want to start really small, we won't even go there at this point. If you go too much, it's okay. If you're being a little haphazard, just brush it in. That's what dry brushing is all about. Dry brushing is literally wetting your brush and then drying it off on a paper towel so when you hit the item that you're painting, there's so little paint actually on your brush that you're not getting a lot on there. Allows you to really do a measured application of that color. And again, you decide how much paint you want to put on this, where you want this paint to go. 
These are, this guy's a nasty customer, so it's okay. Similarly, on the Bog Goblin, all of this chainmail work is got like almost like an orangish, copperish, like metallic color. That would be next level. It, it, not hard, but if you want to take it to the next step and you want to paint all of those, that's a great next step to do for something like this. Get myself a little bit more of that light brown paint here. Edges. I love edges, dry brushing those edges, because that's where, that's where, where, that's where, paint, uh, not paint, but mud and everything would collect on those edges. So just taking your brush and rubbing it against those edges, that's always going to give you a really nice look. A little too much. And that's okay. If one side's a little bit more than the other, no problem. Maybe this dude, maybe that's the, the side that he sleeps on, right? So that side is a little bit nasty or a little bit muddier than some of the other pieces, some of the other parts of his body. Same thing with those feet. Knowing that he would be trudging around in the muck, I usually concentrate a lot on those feet. Okay. Let's do a little bit of green here. A little bit of green. Now this, I'm gonna go very, very sparingly. There's really not a lot of green in the original, so I'm just gonna give myself a few little spots there just to add some visual interest. I just this will differentiate him a little bit from the normal Bog Goblin. And again, you can see that this is not, this is not difficult paintwork. This is very, very sloppy paintwork that I'm doing right here. Now, admittedly, I'm doing this on a live video, so I am being a little rapid. I am going a little bit faster than I would normally, but only a little bit. So as you're doing it, don't feel as rushed as I do as I record this video. Take your time. Make it look the way you want. Put it down for a while. Come back to it. All good. All good. Just making sure that I hit every single one of these pieces with a little bit of the paint so it's somewhat consistent. That's looking good. Now, you know what? I'm gonna go back to that orange. I'm gonna go back to that original color. And just dry brush that on. Just give me very, very sparingly around some of those edges, a little bit of that extra rust. few other things here so I've got the loin piece here so what I'm gonna do with that loin piece I'm gonna go back to that green I'm just gonna add a little bit of green to those straps later on what I'll do is I will actually add uh, you know some silver or whatever to the buckles there Normally, I would be using a smaller brush to get these. But this is just a quick little paint here. So I'm assembling this stuff, putting everything together, putting all the pieces back together here. See how everything looks. Snap that torso in. There we go. Snap these arms on. Now, one other thing, too, is that that Heads Pack Goblin, he actually came with a helmet. So I want to check the helmet on this as well. I'm going to put the Bog Goblin head on. 
and then we've got this helmet here. So when I put that on, actually see how it looks, and that looks really good. We got all of those like oranges and the greens that are actually in the helmet, we painted on to that base body that we just did. So I like that a lot. That I think that really ties everything in together nicely. So last thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit of work on these two weapons here. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this silver paint, put some of this in. And this you don't have to do a lot with. I'm just gonna add it right to this blade because the Lux Legion Builder weapons all came as one single color. And again, you can take this to the next level if you want. If you wanted to paint the, the handle like bone, if you wanted to paint the, you know, all of this to look like the fully painted version of this weapon, you could absolutely do that as well. But even just that, even just that little tiny bit on the blade kind of transforms that. And I'm gonna do all of that to these pieces here as well. I'm gonna get a smaller brush to accomplish that on these, put it all together, and I will have my bog goblin. So the open mouth one is obviously the one that I just painted. This is an original bog goblin. You can see they don't look exact, but they definitely look like they belong together. So thank you very much. I'm going to turn around the camera again and close this video out shortly. Okay, so we're all done. We got everything painted up. After I turned off the camera, I just did a couple, you know, final pieces of touching up. I painted the, the armor pieces on the front of the shield, and I snapped a few photos so you could see what the end result looks like. Let me bring it up here. Um, so that's what the final piece looked like. Um, really simple. Like I said, it's just a little bit of that, you know, orange paint wipe to get some of that rust, some dry brushing on some browns and some greens to match the colors of, you know, the previous Bog Goblin, but also the colors that are in the helmet. And then just tying it all together, bringing it all together, doing those weapons. I'll show you this as well. I have another, oh, another one to, to show here. Same. Bring up another. I have a, a shot that I took actually of the the new Bog Goblin I just painted alongside the existing one, and that's right here. Oop, did not mean to zoom in like that, but there you go. And actually, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see side by side how those look. So, as I said on the video, they're not exact. Um, you know, the one the one I painted is not going to pass for an original Bog Goblin, but that was not the goal. We don't want to do that. We want it to look like it goes together. And we wanted to, I wanted to give you a very easy tutorial that you can follow if you get this Bog Goblin head from the All-Stars 5 Heads Pack and you want to turn a Deluxe Goblin Legion Builder into a Bog Goblin. Check it out. If you enjoyed this video, uh, definitely let me know. Uh, give me a like. Uh, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so so you're notified when videos like this go live. Hopefully, you found it informative and you can make your own Bog Goblin. I can't wait to see what you make. Have a good one.